Well, uh, but when a Chinese trade official goes to Thailand or goes to Indonesia, what are they offering that we, I mean, well, you're talking about high standard deals. High standard deals also involve more costs, and they involve more costs for manufacturers, producers, exporters, governments. And so does the low road, is there something attractive in the low road trade deal that China is offering? Well, I think, I think the case that we make is that if these countries uh, create better labor and environmental standards, create a, a better environment for innovation through stronger intellectual property rights, uh, create a strong set of disciplines around the digital economy and put disciplines around their state or enterprises, they're going to attract investment. And I think we're already seeing that. We're already seeing companies who are saying, you know, we, we, we've been in this region for a long time. Um, we, we have difficulties with our intellectual property rights being stolen, our trade secrets being stolen. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we want to be in an environment in which we can thrive with our local partners, not one where we feel at risk. And so I think TPP is, a, is an opportunity for other countries in the region to demonstrate that they should be uh, a good place for, for investment. And we're already seeing companies, and, and you've seen some of the surveys, you know, 50%, half of, of American manufacturing executives say they're planning to insource production back from China to the United States. There's another survey which that says- Which is a great story. Which is a great story. And, and when you yeah. take everything that's going on in this country, you know, the fact that we've got, we're a great market, uh, we've got a strong rule of law, we have a strong entrepreneurial culture, we've got a skilled workforce, mm -hmm. now we have abundant sources of affordable and cleaner energy. You know, sometimes a quarter of the price of our competitors in places like Germany. We, I get visited regularly by companies, European companies or other companies, who say, with all of those advantages, when you finish these trade agreements, TPP and, and TTIP, the U.S. will be at the center of a free trade area covering two-thirds of the global economy. And that makes the U.S. the production platform of choice, the place where companies want to put their next factory to serve both the U.S. market but also to export all over the world. And we're at that tipping point where because of all of these good things that are happening with these trade agreements, this can be a, a key part of our investment strategy and a key part of our manufacturing strategy.